Well, hello there, guys. Lovely to see you. My name is Mikey, and welcome to Mega Mega Minis, where we are taking a look inside Imperium Magazine, issue four, for complete beginners like me. Let's go. So, pulling out the bits of this issue, we've got base lead belcher silver paint, as well as the sprues for our three Scorpec Necron destroyers, their bases, and a much larger fold-out playing board for larger skirmishes with all of those extra figurines we've been collecting. So in the cover of this issue, we've got that green Necron vibe. We've got what appears to be a Necron Noble that we've had a model for before, leading some forces from one of their tomb worlds and some information on those Scorpec destroyers, as well as this extra little boy, a Canoptech Plasmacite that you get included with the issue. And then in this issue, murderous blade limb Scorpec destroyers arrive upon the battlefield. And also we will know about the secrets behind the Space Marines and the terrifying dimension known as the Warp. Straight up, I'm a big fan of this issue because it goes deep with the lore and the background and history of what's actually going on in the 40k universe. As for our Scorpec destroyers, we've got another one of these lovely kind of painting and details guide. The overall thing is that these guys are actually standard Necrons whose programming has become distorted and warped over the thousands and eons of millennia to turn them into murdering psychopath machines, which means somebody's given them extra limbs and extra blades so that they can just go absolutely raving loony on the battlefield. And further programming is downloaded into their brains by the Canoptec plasma sites to drive them even wilder. Gene Wilder. And then we've got again our battle record for these bad boys on the back. If you want to keep a rolling, unending tally of their deaths and murders. Lovely, thank you very much. And my favourite bit so far, the creation of a space marine. Now, first thing is this massive gothic feeling image here of this dude holding two electrodes like some kind of Frankenstein's monster deep within the catacombs of the Emperor's Station. And the introductory text for creating a space marine is no easy task. Every one of these superhuman warriors is a product of agonizing surgery, psycho indoctrination, and decades of brutal training. It is a process so horrific that few survive. So this is awesome. I actually thought that space marines came out of test tubes, but actually they get people and then they really mess them up. They graft uh, special gene seed implants, extra organs, loads of hypnosis, initiations, indoctrinations, and vigorous and rigorous military training. So to find an aspirant, recruits must be youths and only young bodies can accept the organ implants. <laughs> Careful. Uh, trials may include fighting each other to the death or hunting a deadly beast armed only with a sharpened stick. And it looks like all of their genes come from the Primarchs, which were created directly by the Emperor himself. So they're the genetic progenitors of all of the main Space Marine chapters. The Apothecaries, these white dudes, are essentially uh, there to both implant the new organs and remove the very carefully selected gene seed organs, which are in every Space Marine, so that they can be then used on further Space Marines if they've fallen in battle. And then the Demons of the Warp! Basically, traveling outside our reality into the warp dimension is how we cross space and time quicker than before. It's the key to interstellar travel, or at least it was. But if you look into the void, the void starts to look back. Our very consciousness and evolution in reality has had like a mirror effect where demons and all sorts of dangerous things now exist in warp space. The navigators are psychic mutants who possess a third eye, which grants them a unique ability to navigate accurately in warp space. Every ship requires an Imperial Navigator. These guys, again, they look really gothically, cosmically grim and dark, and these are kind of our version of the good guys. The Astronomicon is a psychic beacon projected from Earth, which is related to um, the living, undying form of the Emperor and his uses. And also, a bit about the Necrons here have black stones, mysterious obsidian-looking substances used to enhance or negate the power of a warp. They basically have these anti-entropic fields which stops a warp space from being accessible or really existing in Necron territory. Long pylons that appear to hold back the energies of the Immaterium, stopping demons from taking form in this region of space. And then, as you might expect, we've got the How to Build Guide for our Scorpec Destroyers and the Canoptech Plasma Sites. Now, these are intricate bad boys, which look absolutely fantastic. Also, we've got a little bit of a guide for applying the three main paints that we now have, including all of that silvery metal to wrap up the guns for both the Necrons and the Space Marines. We're holding off and just doing two test models for the sake of following along with this magazine series, just so that after we've had a look at some of those paint kits, we can dive in a bit more fully for our models. And then, using that much larger terrain board that comes with this 
magazine, you can now actually do a larger skirmish with a larger series of models. It's slowly building up everything you need to get into a larger full on battle, which is absolutely fantastic. But once we've got our models all put together, we'll be paying more attention to these sections further down the line. And that's it for issue four, mostly about the lore and build up of our characters, along with another battle opportunity. The painting's obviously going to be getting a bit more intricate as more of those colors come in. And then a little bit of a heads up, we've got a Primaris captain model coming soon, and then some Primaris aggressors as well that just look like big bully space marines. So yeah, that's issue four, quite a good one. So yeah, overall, I actually really like this issue because it really delves into the lore of the Space Marines and what's going on in the galaxy in particular, as well as the fact that those Scorpec destroyers are fantastically intricate models. I'll see you for more in the future. Make sure you're subscribed and take care. Mate, this is too easy. Fucking YouTube, innit? Oh, too easy. <laughs>